Hi. What's the big secret? Because I don't want you to Come on, you've already brought like 9,000 ornaments home, okay? It's not like I... Because you can't resist buying them. I've seen every ornament that they've ever made. It's not an ornament. It's a small element in the big surprise I'm planning for you. Hmm. What if I don't want to wait for the surprise? You have to wait. It's not your choice. It's my surprise. Show some of that restraint you keep bragging about. I'm not kidding. I'm going to be really mad if you ruin this surprise. Okay, fine. You know, um, with this kind of build-up, it must be really worth waiting for. It is. Perfect. It's wonderful. Really? Mm. You know me, I'm not exactly your garden variety family man. Agreed. I mean, family's not a dirty word or anything. It's just that, uh, well, I don't go for that guys that bind thing. Where are you going with this? My daughter was here, flashing those beautiful eyes of hers. And I saw my whole history. I saw those same eyes looking at me when she was a baby. I saw her brother, her mother, everyone I ever cared about. I saw you, wife. Standing here day after day, willing me to live. When I was half gone, ready to cash in. And I thought, no, I can't do this to these people. This is my family. I ain't gonna bail on them. If I ever forget to be grateful to Lulu, please remind me. By the way, you won't regret it. I promise. I'll hold you to that. Time. <laughs> oh, young Spielberg. How are you? It's been a pleasure to see you. Sorry about the circumstances. Oh, it's, it's okay. I'm, I'm all right, I think. I mean, I'm, I seem to be getting to where I'm supposed to be. I don't know how. It's enough. How are you? Peachy. Your mother assures me that I'm going to be up and running on all cylinders soon. You are? Hey, congratulations, son. Boy, my hat's off to you. You always knew what you wanted, and you went right out there and got it. I'm proud of you. <sighs> Thank you. Oh, well, at least you're not alone. No, Cupcake, I am not alone. I'm the police commissioner. I should have caught this bastard a long time ago. Instead, he's been free to roam, wreaking havoc. One of my daughters was attacked in my own living room. And now George is dead. Okay. You have to listen to me. You didn't let Georgie down once. You were the one constant in her life. And Maxie's, and mine. You were the one who committed to raising us when our parents couldn't or wouldn't. You were there. Telling us to eat broccoli and do our homework. Dealing with our raging female hormones. Making us know every single day that we were just as loved as any kid in any normal family. Think of the person Georgie was. Smart, compassionate, loving. That didn't just happen. She was a reflection of the best of you, Uncle Mac. You cannot control what's random. Believe me, you are the best parent any of us could have asked for.